So when you got up that chick, they'll see come out just what she is tomorrow, I said that. Well, well, hello, guys. Uh, I know you don't know this, but I've just come back from Portugal. I've been there for seven days. It sure was nice to get away. But unfortunately, now I'm back, and I see that things haven't got any better. In fact, they've got worse, especially in the United States. I'm afraid America is a banana republic now. There's corruption, deceit, and lies everywhere. And before I left, I kind of watched that Fetterman and the Oz debate. And it was absolutely disastrous for Fetterman. In fact, I seen him do an interview as well. And it was disastrous too. But and yet, Fetterman won. That shows you there's something definitely wrong in Kansas. But don't forget, Biden got the biggest votes, didn't he? Of any US president. And he was campaigning from his basement. Yes, I'm afraid the American dream is gone. There seems to be only one state that's left in America, and that's Florida at the moment. But to be frank with you, I'm just fed up with it all and seeing all the corruption. So I've just not got to bother looking anymore. It's gone. It's finished. But on holiday in Portugal, I still saw the femme nature at play. There was a marina where there was stores and restaurants, and of course loads of boats in the marina. And a lot of the tourists there were middle-aged or quite old couples. And you could see the husband or the partner, a man, shuffling along following the femon, as she wanted to look at all the restaurants and the prices and what they did and all the stores she could look at. Meanwhile, the man was looking at the boats, thinking what a good design, what a beautiful design, what a big old motor they'd have in them and a nice piece of equipment and how he'd probably like to own one and just piss off alone. But the Femon noticed the boats as well, but she's only looking at the boats because they mean money. And all the men looked the same, well-trained Labradors. They went and ate at a restaurant that she decided, of course. He may get a quick beer in the afternoon and maybe a couple in the evening, but that's all. The next day it'll be whatever she wants to do. It was kind of sad looking actually at them, but that's the life they chose. Then the funny thing is, if anything happens to the old partner man, she'll just get another man to do exactly the same thing. And funny enough, there was a guy at the hotel I stayed at who was with a very large femon. She did look quite a bit younger than he was, and he was buying her a bottle of wine and trying to simp to her quite a lot. And she, in turn, was quite loud and obnoxious. He's obviously the sugar daddy. And I kind of felt like saying to him, Wake up, you son of a bitch. But feminine nature is the same all over. And unfortunately, it's probably far too late for these men to even wake up. One thing I kind of noticed, maybe it's just that area, but I thought Portuguese famons kind of blew up when they got older. Well, they didn't seem to. Maybe somebody else knows better than I do. Maybe it's just the area I was in. But it was nice to get away from the UK and go to Portugal, where things actually worked. And people seem to live a lot calmer there. They're not so stressed as the UK people are. And of course, nice sunny days that are warm doesn't hurt either. And you know, I was sitting on a wall there watching the people walk by, mostly couples, thinking that if I had a great big bus parked up on the road, I could rescue all these men and take them to a safe house somewhere and reprogram them just to get their lives back. But that was just a dream, I guess. But I feel kind of refreshed from my seven-day holiday in Portugal, because that'll last about a day and a half at work, I suppose. Because I can feel the tenseness as soon as I landed. Because the governments all over the world, a lot of places, have made everybody keep an eye on everybody else. And I got the feeling in Portugal, people just didn't care and got on with their lives. The entitlement of femons has been going on for hundreds of years. And until men stop simping for the femons, it will continue. Wake up, guys. Get your life back. Of course, unless you're scared, that is. <laughs>